Hello, this is a demonstration of developing Java and PLSQL in the Eclipse environment. This first example demonstrates the use of type graph cursor. This type is very important for the connector builder to generate Java transfer objects. This is the Java development perspective. Now I'm switching to a PLSQL workbench perspective. The example employee version 1 is working in the schema HR. It has three stored procedures, list employees, save employee, and delete employee. The stored procedure list employee is returning a type ref cursor of employees matching the calling parameter. The type ref cursor is returning a PLSQL record. This PLSQL record is identical to the table employee. This PLSQL record is, will be converted to a Java transfer object. Now I open the predefined connector builder to run it. This connector builder generates the access code to the stored procedure package employee version 1. Here you see the PLSQL record rec employee and the free stored procedures. The connector builder generates the transfer object, the service interface, and the service implementation like Java E patterns. So let's have a look at the generated Java code. The transfer object contains a subclass or inner class a rec employee with identical attributes as the PLSQL record. The service implementation list employees has the same signature of parameter than the identical PLSQL store procedure and is returning the transfer object as a list. So let's open the demonstration example code. The factory generates a service and this service calls the stored procedures. Now at this point I'm listing all employees with a last name starting with Kai I. After that I'm uh, printing the out to the standard out. After then Save an employee with my name, list this found uh, and stored employee, printed it out, and uh, last remove the current, uh, current saved employee. So I run the example. Here you see it works and did exactly what it should. You see the code is very small and very compact. 